You know the sound of the ocean, how relaxing it is, or maybe a nice breeze blowing, or even the sound of crickets chirping. All relaxing, right? Well, what if you heard those sounds all the time? Wouldn't be so relaxing then. And what if it wasn't crickets chirping or the sound of the ocean, but a siren or a dial tone or something like that? And then even worse, if you threw your hands to your ears, it did nothing to muffle the noise, you would have what's called tinnitus. And you wouldn't be alone. An estimated 50 million Americans suffer from tinnitus in some form or fashion, 16 million of them bad enough that they go to seek medical attention for it. And it gets even worse. For 2 million Americans, their tinnitus is so bad that it's debilitating and they can't lead normal lives as a result of it. Under normal circumstances, when you're hearing, you're hearing because your hair cells are working. Now your hair cells are tiny little cells located in your cochlea, which is a little pea-sized part of your inner ear. The hair cells receive information from little tiny bundles of fibers called stereocilia. And the stereocilia respond to vibrations from sound waves. Depending on how the volume or the pitch of the sound is, the stereocilia will vibrate like crazy or else they might just do it kind of mellow, whatever. That information is going to be transferred to your hair cells, which sends an electrochemical message to your brain and presto changeo, you're experiencing the sensation we call sound. But in tinnitus sufferers, there's a breakdown in this process and science isn't exactly sure what the problem is. But there are a couple of hypotheses and they are very interesting. One is that the hair cells are just broken and they're constantly on, leading the brain to think that it's receiving sounds that it's not. The other one, which is my personal favorite, is that the brain's noise filtering system isn't working any longer. And normally the brain's noise filtering system keeps you from hearing your neurons firing in your brain which means that if you have tinnitus, you're actually listening to the sounds of your central nervous system functioning, which is pretty cool. So what causes tinnitus? Well, pretty much everything, it turns out. Auditory damage is the leading cause. You can get that from all sorts of stuff, from going to concerts too much, to working around a jackhammer. Explosions are also a big cause. Something like 49% of all American soldiers returning from Afghanistan and Iraq are thought to have tinnitus in some form. You can also develop tinnitus from neurological damage, head trauma, earwax buildup, low blood pressure, high blood pressure. You can't win. There's medications that are ototoxic, which means that they damage your hearing. All sorts of stuff. And there are just about as many treatments as there are causes for tinnitus. Things like ginkgo, uh, acupuncture, vitamin B complex. All of these things are said to make tinnitus better. You can also get surgery if it's particularly bad. And some people just learn to live with it, literally train themselves. You know, they say the best offense is a good defense and that applies to tinnitus as well. The best way to not get tinnitus is to take measures against it. So for example, if you're going to be exposed to anything over 85 decibels and a lawnmower is about 90, you're gonna wanna wear hearing protection. So basically just walk around with plugs in your ear all the time. You can also avoid not getting enough sleep, avoid aspirin, avoid caffeine. Just basically stay in your bed with earplugs in all the time and you won't get tinnitus. Here at Brain Stuff, we wanna know, do you have tinnitus? If so, how do you think you got it? You can leave a comment in the comment section and if you like this video, then subscribe to the Brain Stuff channel on YouTube. Why not? You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr and visit us at our website, brainstuffshow.com.